Welcome to Wolves Weekly. I'm Barrett Henderson, Director of Media Relations here at Western Oregon University, joined by Arne Ferguson, head football coach here at Western Oregon. Arne, it's another year, yet I still don't have my kitty seat to where <laughs> I can get the same height as you. So I'm not, I need to bring phone books or something. So <laughs> Yep. So I'm not sure we need to talk to you on that. That's right, yeah, we're gonna have to make that happen. But uh, it was an excellent summer, but I know you're excited to uh, get going here. Mm -hmm. uh, September 6th will be the first game at Portland State in Hillsboro, um, but it's a fun time, great time of year. Yeah, for us to play Portland State, um, it's a really good opportunity for our players. Um, we've been pushing our players uh, 15 days straight right now with practice, trying to make up uh, Portland State's on a different schedule, so they're nine, actually nine days ahead of us, and then also one game. So we'll, we'll be able to actually our players will be able to see on TV the Portland State game versus Oregon State, which is good. Um, but that nine days is really hard to make up. So we've been pushing our, our players to the limit, and they've been doing a great job of responding to date. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about uh, the fall camp you've had. Uh, you guys have really been going really hard out there early in the morning, some two a days. Um, it, mm -hmm. it looks like it's been a great success for you so far. Yeah, the, you know, our strength coach, Corey Metzger, does a good job so they can handle the, the load that we're, we're and given them as far as the amount of reps and the physicalness of those reps. Um, yesterday's practice was extremely physical and also was their best practice. So we're going to need that physicality playing a, a, a subdivision school like Portland State um, who you know, uh, has a lot of things in their advantage. But we really feel that we have some players like Craig Aikens, um, Tyrell Williams, um, obviously Ryan Bergman, Joe Harris that can really uh, match that intensity. We're really trying to get our, our next players, that next level of players, to understand um, how fast and physical it is when you play up. Yeah, you guys got that experience last year against Eastern Washington, uh, against a quality FCS opponent from the Big Sky Conference. And uh, we'll talk more about Portland State next week in uh, Wolves Weekly Show. I want to talk to you primarily today about uh, a season preview. You just went through some names on some key returners. Uh, obviously, the great, great crew you just had there. Um, and again, starting Ryan Bergman at the quarterback position. Uh, he's, he's just an excellent, excellent guy to have on your lineup. Well, Ryan's really commanding the offense, and Coach Harris um, is really doing a good job of, of tailoring things to meet his needs. But, but also, Trey Shimakura is also doing well, along with our other quarterbacks, that Ed Mazaki is doing a great job coaching them. So we're really confident that our offensive coaching staff is putting a lot of people in the right position, um, but we're also we have some first-time starters, so we're really trying to fast track that with um, the experience and the expertise of Ryan Bergman and uh, Tyrell Williams. Yeah, it'll be a fun tandem between uh, Tyrell Williams and Ryan Bergman this year. And uh, there in the backfield, also you got uh, Joe Harris, mm -hmm. an excellent uh, All-Conference running back coming back for this year. Yeah, Joe was just nice to get him going a couple of days ago. I came in injured, uh, worried about uh, the serious injury that ended up not being, so it was nice to get him back. But also, um, we have some two older, experienced running backs that really will add to the depth and experience and the different styles that we'll need at that running back position. And uh, looking at uh, the defensive side of the ball, Craig Aikens, a uh, preseason All-American pick, uh, really, really a solid young man there, and also Shane Kinsey also coming back there on defense. Uh, Craig is really the key to a lot of things that we do. Um, his knowledge is very valuable out there. It's very much like a coach on the field. And then also the, his versatility inside and out um, with our four-man front is, is very key for us. And then Shane Kinsey is a, a player that has been very vers versatile for us last year. You know, first game last year against Eastern Washington, ended up with 18 tackles. Um, so we, we expect a high level performance on both those players. But the key is really getting their next level to, to play where those guys are at. We know where they're at, we're very comfortable where the level that they're playing. It's a next step of our other players that really have to understand what it takes. You guys had an outstanding recruiting class last year and it brought a lot of local talent in here to Western Oregon. How about some of the new faces that the fans will get to know pretty quick here? Yeah, it's still, um, we're, it's a day by day, we're evaluating those decisions, and it's close. Um, we're trying to predict how much playing time they get through the season, what's best for our program now and also in the future, whether they're going to redshirt or not. Um, so those decisions are, are day by day. I do know we have some players that we expect to really help us 
I'm um, just not sure the depth uh, where that's going to fit right now. And some of it's also health related too. Gene, that preseason poll came out here recently and uh, Western Oregon tab third, just one point behind Central Washington in a really tight 2-3 uh, there ranking in the poll. But number one, Azusa Pacific, um, favored to defend their title. But again, Coach, this is a really, really tough GNAC conference. Yeah, the, you know, um, Azusa Pacific will really have a chance to see how good they are against a, a consistent Grand Valley team that was a playoff team last year. We also play and travel to North Alabama, who was a playoff team last year. Um, so that will really tell where those things are at with both, both our two teams. Central Washington is a new transition with coaching staff. Um, so it's unknown really what they're going to do as far as what style of offense and defense. We, we know that uh, uh, consistently they've been one of the best talented teams in our conference with the most depth. So we're expecting really those teams to be really good. And then uh, we've added South Dakota School of Mines, which will help. Um, not, they had a real good season last year. Then Humboldt, we know they'll rebound off a season that wasn't their, their best. We expect them also to be right in the mix, uh, along with Dixie and Simon Frazier, who really are ratcheting up their talent um, overall. So the quality in this conference has changed a lot in the last four years. Well, we can thank uh, the conference for scheduling a trip to Rapid City, South Dakota in November, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun to get mm -hmm. to. Well, uh, Coach, you've got an excellent staff here with you, and I know that you've done a lot this summer. If you want to talk a little bit about the camps that you guys have put together, along with a, a great golf tournament that you guys just had mm -hmm. here recently. Well, first of all, um, I've been here for a long time, and the quality of staff and the amount of help that we've had um, and with our current administration has allowed us to really branch out and expand the things we can reach out in the community. Um, first of all, we had a kids camp that came in. We had about 80 to 90 kids and be involved with our spring game. And then our, our high school camp, we had over um, about, 100 and, uh, well, about 100 coaches throughout the state, Washington and other areas. And then also about 500 um, student af students um, high school students came to our camp, so it was the biggest camp we've ever had, and our school did a nice job of managing that and changing some things with us to make sure we, we were able to accommodate those needs. And then our golf tournament, we had 88 um, people playing in it, um, mm -hmm. doing a little bit of break for our players, and a lot of our players helped out, and really our alumni just want to know our players and know what's going on and, and help with our program when they can. Yeah, uh, excellent footage uh, from one of your recent practices. Uh, you have your, I believe, your director of operations there, uh, mm -hmm. Jason Slowey, former player here, standout player, mm -hmm. and he put out on Instagram and social media your Kevin Sumlin interpretation <laughs> where you came to practice mm -hmm. and surprise everybody and said they got the day off, and it was mm -hmm. quite the scene. Yeah, and that didn't happen with our players very often for me, so um, it was really a surprise them. It took them a while to even set in. They would give them any time off. So, Well, make sure you follow uh, Western Oregon Football on Instagram and uh, Facebook and Twitter. Jason Slowey doing a great job with that coverage as well. But, uh, yeah, it'll be September 6th in Hillsborough against Portland State. That'll be the season opener, a 7:15 kickoff, and also the home opener on September 20th here against Central Washington. As you can see the schedule there, that'll be a 1 o'clock game, the first of four home games. And you can get your season tickets now on West, uh, wolves.com And you can also call 503-838-8051 to get tickets and uh, to get tickets for that Portland State uh, game in the designated Woo section. Coach, it's going to be a, a great year. Really excited to uh, see West Oregon football. Well, thank you. We appreciate you joining us, and uh, that'll do it for this week. We'll bring in Coach next week to talk Portland State.